All right, this is the game that I made with Stella during the Raspberry Pi Foundation's um, Ocean Week. Um, this game was a tutorial that we followed, and then we made a few different modifications to it. For example, um, Stella chose this song on her own. We kind of had a bunch of songs that come as part of Scratch, and uh, one of the tricky things here when we were learning how to code was that we had to, you know, they, they didn't tell us anything about this part in the tutorial, so we had to figure out how to do it. So I figured, okay, let's have a song play forever. But if you do, if you do um, just start sound, then it goes da 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 forever, <laughs> and you don't actually hear the song. So you have to do until done. So that lets the song go all the way through. Um, so most of this um, was from the tutorial. Um, this part here with the shark is different because um, the shark was not part of the tutorial. We did that on our own. Um, that was Stella's choice. Stella wanted there to be a shark there. Um, so here's the turning wood. And then here's the code for the shark. Uh, and we had to do this part where here where it turns back and forth when it touches uh, brown so that it can go back and forth and not like go through the entire map back and forth. So um, if we go to the game, um, start up. Oh, a bit loud there. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so the, the boat goes until it reaches your mouse. And once it reaches your mouse, it stops. Uh, so that's essentially what we're doing. Oh, I thought for sure I was going to be a gunner there. So speaking of which, if you crash, that's what happens. And then it starts the game after a few seconds. It restarts the game after a few seconds. Um, so in this particular tutorial, we didn't design any uh, extra levels. That was a challenge uh, problem. Um, but by the time we were done building this, um, Stella was kind of done with the project. So we said, okay, that's fine. We'll just uh, leave it at that. So next, I will make it all the way to the end so you see what happens there. And again, the sound that it plays when it gets to the end is kind of a funny choice, but it was Stella's choice. Um, so we'll do that. Let's get... Come on, boat a little faster. Oh, boat, oh, boat, oh, boat. You're in trouble, you're in trouble, boat. Oh, no, boat, oh, no, no. Oh, you made it. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's not get eaten by the shark this first time. Let's go around, around, around. And we made it. After a little bit, it'll reset the game. Get another chance to keep going. Or does it? I forget. I know, I think it only resets if you die. So I have to start it up again. There we go. All right. So we're going to go all the way around and have the shark eat us this time. Again, uh, just as I was when I made the game with Sam, I'm pretty impressed at the complex complexity level of games you can make with Scratch. I had thought that this was such a like little kid's programming language that it, it couldn't do you know like real games, but this is you know this this game would be pretty challenging to do in Pi Game or uh, any of the other game frameworks. There we go, Sharkatus. And so after some amount of time, it's going to restart and put us back over here. That I do remember doing it. There we go. We're back there. So that's it. We'll stop the game. All right. 